Well, hello to another beautiful, beautiful day in Katowice in Vimyar. Today we've got a fantastic matchup. Dorotamai on the left and Arthur Zroic on the right. We've got a Choo Choo versus Mimikyu, or I should say we've got a Picaron versus Guard of War, Guardian, and so Guard of War and Sylvan. So already Arthur Zroic going for electromagnetic radar. He knows he has to be fast. There are charms, so the speed is what he needs right now. And taking a look at Rota's hand, she has some answers. She has good good answers to uh, what Arthur's gonna do. And right now a big charm actually underneath Zara Aura. Down goes the Dene. Wines Aurora will probably choose to avoid a 200 damage GX that may come. And let's take a look. Got a Tapu Coco out of this Dene. We still got a quick ball. Oh, what a turn one. That is still turn one. And he can't play a supporter. That is worth noting. Otto can't play a supporter. But what a turn one right now. Right here in Katowice. And he's searching. He's searching for the fifth Pokemon to put on the bench, which might be a Zapdos. Oh, it is a Fioni. That is quite interesting and intriguing. That is a Fioni, a beautiful looking staff promo Fioni. And this is the Pokemon that definitely, oh, dropping it on the bench. Uh, this is the Pokemon that definitely is uh, there to, to threaten the bench, to threaten the charms that Rota may have. We've got an energy underneath a Picaram, and he's thinking, should I play something? And he is playing a Custom Catcher for two, drawing two cards, so now three cards in hand, and passing, passing the turn. Now the road of my like she wants to have Guard of War and Sylvan active. She wants to use a fairy song attack to put some uh, to put some energy right there on the bench and active Mimikyu. Really interesting tech if you ask me to have a Mimikyu. We've got a super scuba, we've got Malin Lana tackle some energy, definitely a lot of really nice things. She's probably gonna go for Bills Analysis, and it is, it is a Bills Analysis uh, right here, and Artzroic knows. This is the moment that he really, really needs to put things up. Like he really needs, because again, this is you know, this is really interesting because you don't really see Garden Guardian being played anywhere in the world right now. And I would say in Poland, in Katowice, only Dorota is the only the last player of Guardian in the world. And this is definitely you know not making it easy. Uh, it's not making it easy for Otto Zorowik right here. Another Poké Gear, another Bills analysis. Why is that making it easy? Great question, Tim. And uh, the reason is that. Normally the Picaram right now does not play a lot of tool removals. Bills analysis, let's take a look at that. Those seven cards and already, there you go, that's exactly what I was talking about. We've got a Ferret Charm for Lightning type, which means he can either start attacking with the Tapu Koko Prism he can start attacking with Zapdos, or he has to get rid of the charm with something. And I know Oddstrike only for that match specifically plays Fab and Lissander's lap, so he has a ways to deal with it. But definitely, you know, a Guardian is, well, is one of those matchups that you don't want to play in if you are, uh, if you are a Picaron player right now. And as mentioned, Dora went for, uh, she did went actually for the fairy charm and for uh for 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 a switch down she goes for the energy one two three she went second that is her privilege she can go for that energy and put it oh cards are flying here today in katowice and she can put that uh right underneath um mimikyu gx use the perplex confuse and start start doing something she can also put uh weakness guard energy she can put uh fairy charm and there'll be no fair charm, there might be a dong up and coming. So the fair charm might be uh, really necessary. It might be a necessity right now. And okay, we've got a fairy type energy. Are we gonna see uh, the fair charm being dropped? And it is! Oh, this is devastating news for Arthur Zorowick right now. Because he can't like judging now for what for what he has on his bench, well he can only attack with Fioni, but he doesn't have the energy, and he can only attack with Tapu Coco Prism, and that is a GX! That is a GX. So the GX says that uh, you put one of the cards back to the deck. So Picaron goes back to the deck. Picaron goes straight to the deck. The strategy just went out the window right now today in Katowice for Arthur Zorowik. You know, really interesting attack, really interesting move. Uh, playing that GX early on, having the charm 
actually enabling some room for Arthur and right now Lissander's lap being dropped oh are we gonna see an attack are we gonna see attack this room wasn't it a little bit too fast that's a that's a good question wasn't it a little bit too fast to play that Lissander's lap because again because of Lissander's lap big charm is also not working but the GX was used so uh, so 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 Guardians GX may not be may not be used as well we've got professors research or that was definitely a professor research right there let's take a look probably nothing or not a lot of cards being drawn I should say not a lot of cards that he really needs we've got an energy so there is a way of retreating but this is not enough to attack maybe that Zapdos is gonna help if there is any because Zapdos only one energy attacker. We've got a Pokegear 3.0. Beautiful, uh, 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 beautiful, beautiful uh, League Cup promo. Again, I miss those uh, those Cup promos. I miss the promos that were different from uh, what we what we used to uh, have in the regular set, which is not right now. Right, current uh, promo Quick Ball for the current current League Cups. Definitely um, not an interesting one. You can you might say an ugly one, and I'm gonna agree with you. That was a Poké Gear and nothing with a Poké Gear. Door that can only look. That is turn three, really long turns. Like Arthur is a little bit in the panic mode, because if there would be no no GX from the other side, that might have been a knockout. That might have been it. But there is that Zapdos. You can see that Zapdos clearly in Arthur's hand. And it is. So we got a Zapdos. Oh, he only needs a little bit more. A last push. Energy underneath, oh that's really interesting, underneath Zara Aura this time. That is really interesting. We've got a custom catcher for one. That's a really interesting play to put that energy right underneath Zara Aura. He's checking, he's checking his discard pile. What have I done? Do I have the energy that is necessary? That is really interesting move, and a pass. All right, so okay, so he knew he's not gonna be, he's not gonna attack. Lysander's lab goes well out the window, and we have Wondrous Labyrinth, which makes uh, Artus Pokemon attack cost one more. And that's definitely not not uh, the place you want to be. He has to find the Thunder Mountain. He has to go for that. But can he get it? That is a great question. Can he get what he really needs? And we've seen two tackles, or that was a tackle, and I haven't really seen the first card, which I do apologize. I was really into this Wonders Labyrinth play, which is really, really good right now. And that was the Green's Exploration. So that was a really good Green's Exploration, but in Abyss Analysis was already played. So let's take a look. We've got, uh, we've got a tackle. So down goes Guardian right now. There's a switch in the Roda's hand, and we're going to see a Fairy Song coming pretty, pretty soon. But does she have more uh, charms? That is a great question. Does she have more charms, actually, to, uh, to further punish Arthur for playing the Lissandra's Lab early, excuse me, early on? Again, this is the matchup that... Still, not a lot of people do play. Not a lot of people are using this Guardian, you know, especially due to uh, the ADP matchups. But people also forgot that, well, we still have, we still have uh, Dragon Charms that can be played right there on that, on that, uh, in that Guardian deck. So we got a retreat. Interesting that, you know, she didn't really use Switch, so she whiffed one energy, one energy in the discard pile. And a fairy song attack. So two energies from the deck onto onto what seems to be Guardian or one into Mimiki. I feel like this is gonna be two a Guardian. Oh, she's checking. Oh, there is a one energy. There was one energy and both down underneath Guardian. So right now, Art really needs a lot more energy or a Thunder Mountain. Oh, there goes Volkner. There might be a Stadium Nav and there might actually be... Uh, there might actually be... Uh, oh, there is. All right, there is a Stadium Nav. Was not 
prized in this game. Stadium Nav not really prized. That is a great moment uh, for Arthur, but he still needs to roll those dice. And rolling the dice, never easy, never pretty. But there's also a Fioni uh, that he might utilize. So many, many uh, ways of dealing with, uh, with the current situation. But first things first, we need that Stadium. That is not happening. And this is, this is the second roll happened. Like he's going, like he's charging like a rhino. He's a charging rhino of this matchup right now for the Thunder Mountain. And the can only look as the labyrinth is being solved, as the puzzle is being solved right there. But this is not, not over. There might be more tools for the Rota. And so charging rider might be stopped by the Rota right there before the gates, before, before, before. Let's take a look what's going to happen. Are we going to have an energy switch? No, this is just a switch, just a regular switch. We're seeing uh, retreat. Sorry, uh, we're seeing um, we're seeing Tapu Koko being cracked. So two energies underneath, underneath a choo choo, and a switch. Oh, what a great move right here by Arthur. So there's no peak run, but choo choo is really working well right now. 160 and the paralysis. But again, Dorota has that pressure switch. She has that Malo and Lana right now. So paralysis and not really. Not really, not really working. And right now, Arthur using his dice. So thank you so much, Arthur. He's explaining to the road that on camera they look a lot better. So it helps me. Thank you so much, Arthur. Uh, right now, so it was not being rude. Uh, yeah, so Arthur is not being rude by any means. He's just you know wants me to have a really, really, really easier job. Thanks, Arthur. All right, so there is a super scoop up as well right now in the Rota's head. Oh, so many options for the Rota. Super scoop up. She might just stop that charging Rhino of a peak ram. That there's no peak. Of from anywhere but okay didn't happen oh it was a super scoop up on a Mimikyu what a move what a move by Dorada she's asking if she can switch yes you can use a switch down goes the fairy charm and now now this is a problem this is the moment that Arthur didn't want to happen this is really really a huge problem for him he's preparing to die he knows the attack is coming what a great move by Dorada May right now we've got um, Malin Lana, we've got, you know, Mimikyu discarded and Weakness Guard Energy also discarded. So really interesting tag towards, towards what you might actually say, uh, you might actually say, uh, is ADP. All right, so let's take a look right now. We've got a, we got an energy, we've got, all oh, this is, he needs that, he needs that Faba. Like, Faba is something that he really, really needs, but can he get that Faba? I don't think so. Right now, it looks that Dorota is in a, the great position. She can actually pull this off. She can win that game with two Guardians, and she passed the turn like there was an attack, and right now, Arta, panic mode, panic, panic, panic mode. Right now, now going for Professor's research, so we're not gonna say we're not going to say a Faba this turn, but we got Electro Power. There is a Thunder Mountain, so it is going to be an attack with Zabdos. Probably that is definitely you know, uh, what you want to do. We've got Electro Power, you know, attacking for free. Definitely an interesting move right now. But is this going to be the move that he wants to make? He has that Fioni, so he might actually attack the bench one. Uh, no. No, he's not doing it. That is quite interesting. He's not, not ret he thought about retreating. But he's not, he got that Fioni, so he might actually target uh, the bench one with a GX if he can pull this off. Let's take a look what uh, he's gonna do. The Rod is still in a great position because even if, even if her Pokemon's gonna get knocked out, oh, we got a right. We, there we go. We've got a retreat right now to a Zora Aura actually. Oh, we've got that Fioni. We've got that Fioni. Fioni goes uh, down uh, at the bottom of the deck, of course. And uh, as we all know, oh, two Electro Powers. Uh, and I think I saw Faba in his hand. What? What a turn! What a turn! What a turn! Oh my goodness, he avoids. He avoids being knocked out. He avoids being knocked out with that Zoraura move right there during his during his next turn. He can actually retreat and attack with Chuchu. So that was the master plan to have something that has a lot more HP. So Guardian will not knock it out. Retreat later and maybe attack. But let's take a look. Dorota is still in a great spot. Like she doesn't know that he has that Faba in his hand. My goodness, that Faba in his hand right now. Dorota, this is the great time to have a reset stamp. There is a chaotic swell. Definitely a great, great, great move by Dorota, but she needs that reset stamp right 
right now or a great catcher to knock out that true true oh and it is she's got it she's got a great catcher my goodness she's got a great catcher but can she have oh this is this is this is looking really nice right now for the rodash we've got a great catcher that is one that is going to be a two what she's gonna discard a switch and we're gonna have and we got a true true and this those are three price cards right now for the Rodash. what a great move Pikram still nowhere to see that is a knockout what is going to happen right now one two and three price cards for the Rodash. what a move what a move what a move but right now there is Faba on the charm so charm is getting to a lost zone We've, we need to get that third charm into a lost zone, but it's still fine. She doesn't have anything to, to, to bring it back. There it is, into a lost zone. We've got a quick ball right now. This is the moment that really, really is going to define that matchup. This is the moment that's going to define this game. Quick ball discarding, actually discarding energy. Down goes Pikram, and what we're going to see, Pikram still needs three energies to even charge, to even be able to do something right now. Auto just checking his deck. What else do I have? What else do I need to do to beat that Guardian? She, if Dorota has one more fairy charm, this is it. This is over. This is uh, this is done. He's done. He can go back to his home, cry, and not come back right here uh, on the stream ever again. Let's take a look. Our charging rhino is stopped by the immovable object. That is uh, that is a amazing music garden. Third energy right now. And Zara Aura, and 160 damage from Zara Aura. That is a really interesting move right now. Of course, Arta knows that she's not going to knock it out. She used the GX already, so there's not going to be a knockout. But there might be a little bit of healing. There might be a little bit of something. Uh, it might be a little bit of the bubbly, as would Chris Jericho say, as at the point in AEW. Let's take a look what she can do. If I don't think there is going to be a knockout, there is a Guardian. There might actually be Malala. There is a great potion in Dorota's hand. This is amazing. This is the moment. This is the moment for great potion. What a matchup that is. Peak Rom coming late to a game, you know, getting all the pieces slowly, slowly. What she needs. There is also Sindenka. I don't know what I thought about attack switch to switch that energy. Maybe retreat uh, that active Pokemon to still be able to attack, but there is still amazing, amazing things to do. There's a Traverse Ball, there is a Coach Trainer, and we're gonna see that Great Potion healing! Great Potion actually, actually healing. So right now, as you can see at the top, next to Chaotic Swell, the dice is 110 damage left on the Rota. So there's, she's still uh, close to getting knocked out, but again, Zero Aura can't attack during the next turn, so it has to be a Zapdos. It has to be a Zapdos next turn, but uh, uh, is, is he going to bait the, the Pokemon to actually do something? There goes the Traverse Ball. We've got a we've got a Cherish Ball right now. No, no, that was Cynthia and Caitlin. I do apologize. So Cherish Ball was discarded from Cynthia and Caitlin. Uh, I do apologize. And Green Inspiration was taken back to the Rod's hand. Are we going to see a switch? There is actually there is there is uh, there are you know there is a way to switch for what. For a Zabdos, that is a really interesting move, but no, 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 this enables actually Zara Aura's attack. If she's not gonna be able to retreat, Zara Aura can actually deal a Zara can actually win that game. So that is a knockout, but this is an overall. Overall, this is a game. This is a game. This is a game. That one move. That one move. 160, GG, 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 GG. What a game right here in Paul and Katowice. And if you want to see more games like that, don't get to subscribe to the channel for more videos. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, from Dorada, from R2, goodbye and good night. What a game that was. What a game that was. Hello.